Like, oh my god, welcome to Star Schmuck's Coffee Houses. Uh, may I take your order? Hello? Um, yes. Can I get a venti white chocolate mocha thingy? I want a fucking large hazelnut coffee without that, you know, sucky undertaste you people have. Fucking nasty. Spare me the undertaste! <laughs> we don't have large, bitch. Uh, excuse me, he did not just say he didn't have large. Yeah, he did. Well, what the fuck does that mean? No large? Well, what is that? No, no, you see, they changed the names of the sizes for the cups of coffee. Well, what does that mean? Look. See, small is now called tall, medium is now grande, and large is venti. Vente? What kind of Nazi speak is that? And how the fuck can a small cup of coffee be called tall? Forgive my squirrely ignorance, but isn't small the opposite of tall? Uh, yeah, in, in the real world it is anyway. Oh, I see what you're doing. They call small tall because it makes the customer feel good when they pay $3 for a urine sample sized cup of coffee swill. This way it seems that they're getting more because the word tall is stuck in their psyche. I see their psychological marketing trickery. You tricky bastards. That's what you all are. Fucking tricky. Yeah, whatever. Ah, don't give me that shit. When was the last time you went to a taco hell and ordered a taco grande and got a medium-sized taco? And venta isn't even a word. It's some fucking hoity-toity phrase used to make people feel sophisticated when ordering a large coffee. So when they part with the $5 for the cup of coffee, they don't feel like a fucking moron. Are you saying I'm not sophisticated? I'm saying you're fucking stupid. Fuck this shit. I can get a tall cup of coffee for 50 cents around the corner. But then you don't get the trendy Star Schmucks coffee cup that you, like, carry around like a status symbol, man. Ah, you can take a vente razor and shove it up your ass, you tall brain moron. Hope you choke on a biscotti.